Hello, everyone. This is Paul with My Reseller Genie, and we have just released some new functionality, which is pretty exciting. Uh, you can now bulk edit sales and inventory. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do it, and then I'm going to go back and talk about um, how to approach it. So all you need to do is go to either the sales or the inventory tab, go to the detail, click export, download as a CSV, open up that download. So all you need to do is open the file and edit what you want to. So perhaps I put in the wrong sale platform on some of these and it's actually supposed to be Poshmark. I can just copy that and paste it all the way down and then save my file. So I click save and go back in, click bulk edit, next, upload a sales file. Select my edited file and then click upload. It tells me my sales have been successfully edited. And if we look over here, all of these sale platforms have changed to Poshmark. So that's a really quick overview of how it works. You can do the exact same process with sales and with inventory. Now, some best practices when you're doing this is to limit the size of the file that you upload. So for example, if I download all of my sales and then I edit that and upload it back, it's gonna edit every one of my sales. So that will take a lot of time. Um, what you wanna do is focus on a subset of sales or a subset of inventory and edit that unless you're trying to edit every sale in your database in which case go for it um but yeah that's the the best practice of course there are some errors that you can run into so let me show you a couple ways that you might uh, mess this up if you put in an incorrect value on a field like a date so if i put a on a date field and then i try to upload this it's gonna give me an error message. See, so it says sale date is not a date in row two. So if you get one of these error messages, read the message and try and look at the file to see what's wrong because you can usually figure it out pretty easily. Um, you know, it's easy to make mistakes like this sometimes. Um, but apart from that, it's a pretty intuitive feature, pretty easy to use. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, if you need any help, we're always available.